This is Nat from Massachusetts. He's come out because he's suffering with issues from childbirth. He had tons of ear infections, colicky baby, just was irritable all the time. Because of that, he can't sleep at all. Hasn't slept in 25 years. Brain fog, vertigo, low back pain, neck pain, and a myriad of other crap. You can see his terrible posture and balance. He can hardly get up here. We checked his ears. He, can, he can't hear out of his right ear. His pupils are all dilated, oddly. We took some x-rays, saw the problem, adjusted him, bingo. Number one issue is he can't sleep. Yep. 27 freaking years, guys. I had a sleep study done when I was 19 that showed that I got no stage four sleep, no deep sleep at yeah. all. Yeah, stage four sleep is uh, yeah. delta sleep. Next one is what? Brain fog. Yep, concentration. Uh, thinking ability, clear-headed. Balance issues, coordination issues, lack of athletic ability. Yeah, uh, I used to be a pretty natural athlete and that's definitely kind of drained from me over the last maybe 15, 20 years. Fourth thing on this list is low back pain. Mm -hmm. So his back is a six to eight out of 10, right? Every evening sitting for five minutes kills him. And I go, for how long? He goes, just a little while, 10, 15 years. <laughs> yeah. Neck pain is the fifth thing. So tell us how much pain you're in there. Uh, that's almost as bad as the back. Um, Seven out of ten, you said? Yeah, I have a very hard time turning my head to the right. Um, it just doesn't want to go that way. It's very painful and sort of clicky and grindy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Vertigo, ten years, ringing in his ear once a week. Uh, he has carpal tunnel down his right arm, C8 distribution. Um, he calls it thoracic outlet syndrome he has. It's all the same thing, out yep. of balance. Um, some pain between his shoulder blades and his back. Shortly after I was born, my mom noticed that uh, my right eye, my pupil is much larger uh, than my left and it stays that way persistently no matter, you know, you shine a light in it or whatever. And that's probably, that's, that's a sign that your nervous system is out of whack somehow. Yeah. I've been to three or four neurologists, I can't remember, and <laughs> I think they're probably some of the most useless people on the planet, honestly. They did nothing for that me. Motion. Nothing for me. He did what is called, I think, a nerve conduction test. Where NCV, they, nerve conduction velocity. They Go essentially ahead. give you like a minor electrocution. They run a wire uh, down and zot your nerve to then justify them saying that you have no nerve damage, even though yeah, that your nerve but, but even though he can't feel his hand, he yeah. can't, the whole right arm is, is no sensation. The guy goes, what do you say? No nerve damage. He goes, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even really think to try chiropractic because of, you know, it kind of has a bad reputation, right? Um, but what I noticed is that uh, every once in a while, um, one of the adjustments would really help me. Uh, I would notice that my pupil would go back to normal, I could see better for a minute, my pain would be greatly reduced, and then my symptoms would slowly come back. So I knew there was something to it, um, but I've been searching all over you know, Boston to try to find a chiropractor that can actually give me adjustments that last, um, and that's why I'm here. Yeah. Three or four orthopedists, three or four neurologists, uh, four GPs, uh, I've consulted with a couple others. Partridge and a pair of tree too? Yeah. yeah been up and down. I mean, if I, I'm happy to go talk with anyone, you know, if they claim that they can help me, but I've just found that they really can. Yeah, yeah. So. so again, all you medical quacks out there, watch and learn. This is the shit here. How much better are you now that you lost 280 pounds? Pain is just as bad, if not worse. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. weight has nothing to do with it, guys. You're going to see how flexible this guy is. How much do you work on your flexibility, sir? Every day. Uh, when I feel that I have like restrictions in my neck or whatever, I'll just sit there and stretch it out as much as I can, because that does tend to give me some temporary relief. Gotcha. Fibromyalgia, how long have you been uh, diagnosed with that, sir? Uh, about, I would say three or so years. Any pain in your back there, sir? Yeah, maybe a two or three. Two or three? Yeah. Go back like this. How about that? Uh, maybe like a one. A one? Yeah. Gotcha. Put your arms down. Look at the floor. Okay. You, you, tell us about this tension you have in your throat when you do this. So I don't get pain when I look at the floor, but it feels very restricted. I feel like uh, it's my jaw and my neck, they're just not moving. Like it on a feels, scale of one to ten, what, what does that restriction, restriction feel like? Like a seven or an eight. It's pretty gotcha. bad. Gotcha. So I'm going to turn to the side here. Yeah. Hey, it's coming a little closer. Okay, stop right there. Okay, so go ahead and look down again. He has this unique way of looking down. See how he looks down? Some stupid physical therapist have told him that thing, because that's awful. That is really awful, but he restricts himself, and he does it to such an extent that he actually chokes himself. He like cuts off the blood huh. and then the oxygen. <laughs> it's so freaking stupid, it makes me laugh. But I let him do it, because I like to see stupid, because I like to fix stupid. It's news to me. Exactly. Yeah. So go ahead and look straight up at the ceiling, please. And this one hurts him the most. And look at this freaking range of motion. That's the best I think I've yeah. ever seen. 
But he has a five out of ten pain, right? Uh, probably a little more than Remember, that now. Seven? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Gotcha. Six, seven. Yeah. Six, seven. Okay. Anyways, yeah. uh, pretty unbelievable flexibility. Okay. And for as much pain as he in, he works really hard at it. So that's good for him. But he's not. He wouldn't be paying me if he was out of pain. So next thing, go ahead and squat to the ground, please. Look at this. He called himself an athlete. <laughs> up. No pay with that, though, you said, right? No, no, not really. You said maybe a one or something. Very yeah. minor, but you can see how bad he had yeah, coordination. Very well. Let's turn to your side. Turn to your side. Yeah, go, either way. Go that way. Yeah. Fine. Go ahead and squat again. I want you to see this, guys. It's kind of hilarious. He, it's almost like a comic. Yeah. Okay. Tell us the difference. Uh, it's quieter and a little more dull. I can hear the ringing much better on my left. Gotcha. And how much less do you think? Maybe 10 or 20 percent. Gotcha. Okay, now stay right here. Now take a look at his eye. Um, can you see it? There's enough light. This eye right here, guys. You want to take a look at his pupil? We're just measuring right now. Good. Open your eye a little bit more. Good. Okay. I'm going to step back. Now one last thing we're going to do is check his uh, ability to feel. So come a little closer, actually. What's the difference? Uh, it kind of feels like there's like a bag over this arm. Like I feel the individual spokes pricking me on this arm. Gotcha. But and that's the way it's supposed to be, guys. Yeah. This right arm. I don't really feel the spokes here. Gotcha. It feels kind of like a smooth wheel. So all these are dead, right? Yeah. Not dead, but a lot less. Yeah, dead. Gotcha. Yeah, for sure. You've been adjusted by lots of chiropractors. Again, mm -hmm. uh, have they ever taken x-rays of you, the chiropractors? Uh, no. Right there. You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. What was that like? Uh, that was very robust. I can feel my Ooh, eyes going. Robust. I my like eyes that. are going crazy right now. Okay. Man, you can feel this really tight. We're gonna help Nat up here because again, vertigo is not kind to the newly adjusted. So we're getting him up, telling him not to twist a turn, or he'll undo my work. And so let's check in with him and see how he's doing. I'm dazed. <laughs> I definitely started sweating uh, right after the adjustment. I could feel it's something. Not natural. natural. Yeah. Uh, I felt a huge amount of uh, relaxing down my right side. Which is probably his bad side. Yeah, definitely my bad side. Um, yeah, I feel really excited to, to see how this walk goes. As you guys all know, the secret to good neck adjustments is the walking afterwards because we need to recalibrate, spread that adjustment from the neck all the way down to the toesies. So let's see how he's doing. I bet he's better. Uh, my legs feel under me. My legs feel a lot stronger. Uh, it felt like they were kind of turned off before. Mm -hmm. Like no matter how much I tried, I was only getting like 50 or 60% power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that feels a little different now. Um, my balance feels better. Um, yeah, just saying this because you want to be a YouTube star, right? No, my, my voice really does sound different to me. It's a very strange thing. It feels like someone else is talking almost. Um, that's really strange. So yeah, you definitely affected some change uh, somewhere up there. Okay, I want you to keep your knees straight though. Oh, sorry. He wants to, he wants to yep. cheat for me. I know he wants to look good. Now, what do you feel in your back? Tension? What, what no, feels different? It feels way smoother. Um, I don't feel the tension that was there before. There's a three or something like that. Two yeah. that one is a tension. There's still yeah. maybe a one. Or so no, pain, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go back like this now. <laughs> that was fine. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah. Did I touch your back? No, sir. Did I rub your back? No, no, yeah, exactly. Did not. Look at the floor now with your neck. Okay. Yeah. Well, what about seven out of ten? Yeah. Tension crap. There's you're still like about? a little restriction there, but it's like maybe a three or a four. How about your vocal cords and all that crap you told me about? Yeah, my voice feels stronger. No, no, but I mean when you bent over, you oh. said you had you felt it in your chest, your throat. Yeah, before. no, that feels much better. Okay, let's turn the uh, side. I want to show the guys in the camera. So look, look down so. again. Fucking so much more, dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now look at the ceiling. That was a seven, I think you said. Yeah, that's down to like a two. <laughs> that's way better. Sweet, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's squat. Okay. Yeah, that's that's much easier. Turn your side. Yeah. Turn your side. Much easier. Much easier. What do you think so far, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. A couple more things. Yeah. Wow, yeah, it's the same. So I just bring your hearing back? Yeah. Is that possible <laughs> as a chiropractor? 
Let's do it again. Yeah, that's the same now. Same? Okay, uh, let's do his pupil. Come on up. Yeah. That might take more than one adjustment. Of course, <laughs> no, but I just want to get that on yeah. record. Yeah. So let's check uh, his hands, do you know? Come here, a little closer. Okay, same or different? I could feel the spokes this time. It's still dulled, yeah. but I definitely felt okay, some little, check the rest little pokes. Yeah, that's way better. That one's still a little dead. And that one's still a little dead. Yeah. yeah. But different, right? Definitely. Definitely more sensation. So Except for now, yeah. Just like this. Nat, what has the last 12 hours been for you? Uh, very nice. Uh, I had a lot of, a lot of stuff cleared up post-adjustment, right, immediately after. And some of that kind of eroded away, but I'm still overall in a much better state than I was, say, yesterday morning. It was nice to get some real sleep for a little bit there. Vision, uh, it popped like back into perfect vision uh, in my right eye, which was amazing, uh, right after the adjustment. And that kind of faded, I'd say probably half of the improvement uh, How faded. How long? Um, it Hour, took two hours? Six hours. Six maybe. hours, gotcha. Yeah. Still good. Still good, yeah. perfect. So I feel like I'm taller than I was yesterday, but it would be nice to know. Yeah, for sure. Let's <laughs> check. You can hear it already popping. How? Uh, by the way, mm -hmm. I'd ask you this: How's the self-adjusting? The because remember you said I don't know if I'll be able to stop myself. Tell me how that works. Yeah, I've been good so far. I've not uh, done any like intentional popping or anything like that. I've been trying to when I get the urge to, I just take a few deep breaths, try okay. to relax. Okay. I'm not trying to adjust him. I can feel the pressure building up. Yeah, it's all self-adjusting, guys. I'm just putting in position. That was the adjustment right there. <laughs> oh, it got me by surprise. Uh, I could really feel the effect spreading up and down my spine. Uh, I also, my walking pace uh, increased a huge amount. I'm usually a very slow walker. How easy is the stuff I teach here? Uh, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. uh, you're fighting like, uh, you know, years, or in my case, like decades, like a lifetime of habits. I think I stressed him out because his neck's all tight. <laughs> yeah. Interesting, huh? Wow. Yeah, that was, uh, that was insane. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I, so much better that I haven't really been noticing a lot of my body pain. Uh, so it's been harder to kind of stay on track and uh, keep the good habits um, but I slept like a rock it was great I got like a solid five hours which hasn't happened I can't remember the last time that happened. 27 so, years yeah <laughs> something like that yeah towards me I go there. Yeah, he did really tight on this side yeah. every time I say that every time uh, learning how to take better notes so that I can better identify what's causing me harm so that I can fix it Good. Well, let's go take a look at some x-rays. Follow me, guys. Time to head back and take a look at the x-rays. Zippy. This pink line is the center of mass of your body. <clears throat> okay, so we want to see where your head is relative to that. And as you can see, your head is a tiny bit right of normal. Actually, not a tiny. That's a huge amount. 25 yeah. millimeters is gigantic. Mm -hmm. That is a um, the Grand Canyon of out. Okay? And so you can also see how your right shoulder is lower than your left. So essentially, your whole body is doing this. Yep. Right shoulder's lower, head's lower. And so that's very easy to see, and that's your first leverage point. That leverage point creates what? That torque I was telling you about. That torque is where our problems come from. So you're wondering why how a neck issue can change everything in your body? By decreasing the leverage here, you decrease that weight of that spine I showed you, right? Yep. Good. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay, a little bit of TMJ issue too on the left-hand side here. You can see there's less space here, more space here. <clears throat> and so uh, definitely tension in the left side of the jaw, and why is that important? grinding your teeth, clenching your teeth will also impact the neck, which will unwind your back too. This line is horizontal on your hips. Your right leg's a tiny bit shorter, 3.2 millimeter, millimeters, not a lot, it's pretty small, but it is a little shorter over there, just same side as your short shoulder side. All these arrows right here, this arrow, this, this over here, that's all constipation, pretty widespread throughout the body. I have some arthritis in your low back on the right-hand side too right here. This arrow points to pelvic rotation, a tiny bit of pelvic rotation, meaning your hips, they're not square, they turn like this a little bit. Mm -hmm. But the, again, the smoking gun here is the interesting part. Now keep up with me guys on the x-rays. I'm gonna blow this up. 
You see that this box I just made is a enlarged box of the right femoral head. And so you see this hook right here? That's arthritis, dude. Okay. And how old are you? 75? <laughs> 35. 35. And so you have arthritis in your right hip. Now let's look to the left hip. Nada. Looks clean, yeah. Looks clean, dude, right? And so he was complaining he had a hip surgery because his hip surgery could have been congenital hip dislocation when he was born, and he didn't know about this. But uh, doctors, in their overzealousness to try to rip a baby out of the mama's womb, hurt baby's uh, hips at that point. And so I think this is more that than anything else. Low back, uh, this, see this space right here? These spaces between the bones? Yeah. Okay, see how big they are? Yeah. This is supposed to be bigger. Yep. And so this is actually about half the size it's supposed to be. So you have arthritis here in the low back. And so I showed you on this view over here, there's arthritis right here, yep. that little white spot right there. And so the low back shows it right here. And it's actually moved posteriorly. And so a lot of doctors will be like, you need to adjust that, you need to adjust that. We haven't touched it yet, but you're already feeling better. So balance is the key for him, guys. He has a lot of torque, a lot of hip rotation, probably a lot of arthritis in his hip. He walked like shit for a lot of, a lot of years created a lot of degeneration, a lot of arthritis in here, and that's what's starting to show up, and you can see it as evidence on the x-rays. So, the neck should be shaped like this yellow line right here, and as you can see, it goes the opposite way right here, okay? And so it goes the opposite way so freaking much at your age is unbelievable. I'm gonna blow this up again, guys. You have built a osteophyte in the middle of those bones. That's all massive arthritis, enough arthritis to be on a 70-year-old again. You sure you're 35? Yeah, I can show you my driver's license. Yeah, that is crazy amount of arthritis in there. That is, these should be square like this. See that? They should be nice, not square, but flat in front. Flat yeah. in front. Flat, 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 flat. Not this little Whoa. ski slope. Yeah. And not this reverse ski slope. You have an osteophyte that is, this is actually grown up. It grew up into the soft tissue here and broke off. Hmm. And that did it years ago because it's already starting to reabsorb in here. If it was a fresh break, you'd see the break but it broke off years ago. And uh, that does not happen on a 35 year old, almost never. Wow. So for that to be there, it takes a lot of effort to be that screwed up. Mm. Good for you. <laughs> At least you win. It's funny, I've had x-rays of my neck taken before <clears throat> and they didn't tell me any of this. Yeah, well, um, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's plain as day. I can show yeah. you a ton of x-rays, this doesn't exist. No, on most I, of them. Yeah, no, it's it's mind blowing. It's, I mean, yeah. it's definitely- I mean, you there. see it, right? Yeah. Okay, all effed up. They told me my neck was fine. Yeah, it looks fine to me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> now, also, uh, this is my take and this is my experience. This atlas is microscopic compared to what it's supposed to be like. Yeah. It should be twice the size of this. Yeah. Okay, normally what happens, this bone down here wears off this bone, but yours is not just wearing out, it's, it's pathetic, meaning it's not healthy. It never grew properly. It never even had a chance to grow all the way. And so there's something like smashing in there, something just retarding growth. Yeah. And it's really, really small. I'll show you what a, a good one looks like and you'll see the difference. Okay. Okay. But this is awful. This is awful. Okay. You also have some bone growth in the back of your head, pretty big. And that is this noggin back here. Why is that there? Because of terrible poor posture for such a long period of time that your head is growing bone into the soft tissue. Wow. And so these are all just evidence of problems. I can't reverse this. I can't reverse this. What we can do is stop from getting worse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lastly, lastly, you have this big freaking wisdom tooth right here. Yeah, impacted. Yeah, impacted crappily. Yeah. So I don't know what came the chicken or the egg, because <laughs> this thing is really freaking in there. Yeah. And so I don't know if this is causing so much tension that it's pushing back on your neck and screwing this up. I would surmise that this stuff all did this. Okay. <clears throat> Everything's trying to move away from your neck move away from the pain. Yeah. But this thing is really jacked up. I mean, you may have to have it pulled out someday. Uh, yeah, I've been told that. Time to hustle back to the room so we can compare his x-ray to a normal one. So this is the normal one. Okay. Yeah. So see the curve? Yeah. See, there's no big osteophytes. There's no big bone yeah. growth between the bones. So the atlas is a little smaller than C2. Oh, it is, but you see how much bigger this one is compared oh, of to yours? Course. Yeah, mine's, yeah, like completely gone, but yeah, okay. Gone. That's and so this is how arthritis works. Good spine, bad spine leads to arthritis, worse arthritis, worse arthritis. Okay, so good spine, bad spine, long enough it leads to this, long enough it leads to this. You're between here and here already. Yeah, wow. Well, 65-year-old. Yeah, sounds about right.
yesterday morning, um, just sitting up right after I got up in the morning, which I slept for like a solid 12 hours. It was amazing. <laughs> you didn't um, tell me that. Yeah. 12 hours. And he still um, was tired. Yeah. And I still <laughs> felt like I could have slept for another six, but um, uh, it's just What did you tell up. me at the beginning of the week? You were only sleeping like three hours, short periods of time, but it was more yeah. quality. Now you're actually yeah. sleeping long too. Yeah. Well, I did. I did wake up a couple times in the mm -hmm. middle, but it was just like up for two minutes and back down. Um, so that's way different. Um, uh, so sitting up on the edge of the bed in the morning, just turned to look at myself in the mirror and got a horrible shooting pain uh, in a similar area to where my chronic issues were. Um, and I kind of tried my best to deal with it over the course of yesterday, but it's still pretty bad. Um, so I think I just, I was kind of got out of my uh, body for a minute, turned my head too fast and uh, wrenched yeah. my neck a little bit. Come this way. I had originally thought after that adjustment that it was totally gone. Uh, it is a little bit there residually, but it's like 70, 80% better than gotcha. it was this morning. Yeah. So because I was in so much pain in my neck and sort of upper back area, um, I just focused as hard as I could on the other cues you gave me. And that's really paying off today. Uh, everything else feels much easier today. Uh, much more natural. I'm able to relax a little bit more while staying with the cues. <coughs> Rebecca is who now? Uh, the massage therapist. And here. how do you like her? She's wonderful. Okay, and you said you started. We started him with a half hour of the day. What'd you do yeah. after that? Uh, immediately requested an hour <laughs> for the next exactly. session. Yeah, so she's good at what she does. Uh, we recommend massages here for you guys. Why? Because uh, we want you to understand how a specialty massage we do here that's neck focused, and she's really nice too. Yeah, <laughs> not as bad as the other side. Good. Is that a little different than laying down? Yeah, I felt easier. Excellent, good. <laughs>